You're listening to Procurement 6, the weekly podcast from the team at Art of Procurement that summarizes this week in procurement in just six short segments. Hi there, I'm Kelly Barner, and today is Friday, July 15th, 2022. Six. Did you know that Art of Procurement has an experts on demand advisory business? As the number one weekly procurement podcast in the world, we regularly field requests for advisory services and category expertise. And so we are looking to expand our network of experts that support our client projects. If you are an independent subject matter expert or run a small boutique procurement consulting business and are interested in partnering with us, we'd love to hear from you. To express your interest, just go to artofprocurement.com slash expert application or see the link in the show notes to today's episode. And of course, if our team can be of assistance with a complex or high visibility project and think we can help, well, you know where to find us. Don't hesitate to reach out. Five. This week's podcast is one of the most unique conversations Philip Eidson has ever hosted. He was joined by three guests, Donna Donato, Chris Donato, and Megan Dimmer. Chris and Megan are both in sales, and Donna is in procurement. And yes, Chris and Donna are married. There was one moment that really stood out to me in the big debate, as we're calling it. And I like it for more than one reason. First of all, Donna hijacked the hosting spot from Phil, and it only took about seven minutes into the conversation. I think that's absolutely hysterical. Thank you, Donna. That'll hold me for a while. More instructive, though, is the question she interrupted to pose directly to Megan. What are you guys afraid of? Here's the excerpt. When I'm on the other side of the table or my teams are on the other side of the table, the, the space between us will increase or decrease based on how much we're connecting with the actual need. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but what are you guys afraid of? So you said like salespeople are avoiding, uh, you know, procurement. Let's just get maybe practical here. Like what, what is it that gets on the way that, that, that creates that hesitation moment, you know, to engage procurement? Let's just put it on the table. So for me, it's a good question. And from my perspective, Donna, it's a, the, the pain point is not with procurement. From my perspective, the need, as I described earlier to you guys, why I'm at a cellist, the need is not your need. The need is, is the, the buyer in, in the function. And so I, if they know that they need what I'm selling and I'm only selling it to them because I know they need it to solve their problem, insert procurement who's really not concerned about that in my experience the concern is is the price the right price are we getting the right terms and so oftentimes that buyer that needs what i'm selling ends up getting something that they don't necessarily need or want because of the price war because of whatever i just described that's been my experience our perception is that that you're there to extract as much profit or get the lowest price, um, you know, the, you know, the stringiest terms, whatever. That's our perception. Mm-hmm. Now, look, we, we, when, when you're selling to an enterprise, you know, you're going to have to, there's a, it's a buying is a team sport. So, you know, you're going to have to go through all different um, buyers, most of whom can say no, not many of them can yeah. say yes. And so if you observe a procurement person that is totally connected to the business problem, as Megan described, um, is thinking strategically, is thinking about how to connect the dots. You definitely will um, build a build a relationship. You'll see, because look, we're we're trying to help you, but we're trying to help ourselves at the same time. Now, I think Chris is absolutely right. Buying is a team sport. How ironic that it took a sales guy to put that idea into words. Here's the other irony. In most cases, procurement isn't doing the buying. So sales and procurement have to find a way to work together to cross the divide 
in order to create value for the buying company and reduce friction for our distributed buyers. You can hear the full conversation in the latest Art of Procurement podcast wherever you choose to listen to podcast audio. Four. Phil also recently shared his thoughts about the potential value procurement can create in conjunction with our colleagues in IT by bringing SaaS spend under management. According to research by Productive, the partner that invited him to share this point of view, the average company has over 250 SaaS apps and less than half of them are currently managed by IT. And you can be sure if they are not managed by IT, they are even less likely to be managed by procurement. Some of this results from the convenience of signing up for apps, and some of it is likely to be a natural consequence of the working from home movement over the last couple of years. Regardless of the cause, though, it means risk, duplication, and worst of all, wasted money. Read the article titled, Procurement Can Optimize SaaS Without Disrupting the Business on the Productive blog by clicking the link in today's show notes. This is Procurement 6 from Art of Procurement. To get notified every time an episode is published, go to artofprocurement.com slash subscribe. Three. You may have read some of our recent executive Q&A articles featuring speakers from the ProcureCon Asia conference. This week, we welcomed input from Anu Srinivasan, Managing Director of Procurement at PwC. Among other things, she shares her thoughts on how we can bring a human touch to procurement. As she wrote, procurement functions should solve business problems. Our KPIs should align to business outcomes. This humanizes the problems we solve, how we behave, and the language we use. Procurement continues to face new challenges and priorities, so it is necessary to move away from a tactical commercial delivery function, which was at one point considered strategic for procurement, and I no longer think it is, to a function that can have dynamic conversations with business leaders on several priorities. To learn more from Anu, you can read her full article on the Art of Procurement site or connect with her directly on LinkedIn. Two. Procurement needs to have many strong partnerships in the enterprise to achieve our goals, but also to keep the company as healthy and competitive as it can possibly be. I just mentioned the opportunity for procurement to partner with IT. But as economic uncertainty persists, in fact, it was announced this Wednesday that inflation is now at 9.1% year over year, we're probably going to have to improve our partnerships with finance as well. I recently came across a resource from expense reduction analysts about creating a CFO-CPO strategic partnership. They address the challenges likely to be faced when forging this critical partnership, but also the advantages available to those who succeed. I particularly appreciate their comments on accountability. We don't always use that word, but we actually talk about accountability all the time. Compliance, governance, visibility, All of these ultimately contribute to the level of accountability for spending activity in the company. We'll share the link to download the paper in today's episode notes if you would like to learn more. One. Category Palooza is fast approaching, and the overall program narrative is really taking shape. We're bringing in brand new speakers this year in part because we want to introduce you to impressive new friends like Tanya Manning-Grant and Steve Trussell, but also because this particular moment of challenge requires a new perspective and new insights on very specific topics. Category Palooza will be held live on August 11th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and I certainly hope you'll register to join us. 
Just go to artofprocurement.com slash calendar to find out more. And you can find all of the links associated with the stories and resources mentioned today at the show notes page for this episode at artofprocurement.com slash podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next Friday at 6 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. If you've enjoyed this pod, help us grow and tell your peers to search for Procurement 6 wherever they get their podcasts.